Hello everyone and welcome to this hands-on lab on Amazon Bedrock Data Automation or BDA. In our lab today, we will learn how to create a BDA project with standard output configuration to extract information from a document, an image, a video, and an audio file that is across all modalities. So let's get started. These are some reference URLs that I've mentioned over here. I would definitely recommend that you visit these URLs as they have additional information on this particular topic. Also, I have created a playlist for Amazon Bedrock on my channel. The URL is mentioned right here. As I create additional tutorials and labs, I will have them added to this playlist. Both the reference URLs and the URL to the Amazon Bedrock playlist will be mentioned in the description of this video. Prerequisite for a lab today is knowledge of Amazon Bedrock Data Automation or BDA. Hence, if you do not know what this service is all about, please refer to this overview video that I had created some time back. The URL is mentioned over here at the bottom as well as will be mentioned in the description of this video. So let us see how we can work with Amazon Bedrock data automation, and use standard output configuration across different modalities. So the first step that we are going to do is we are going to go to Bedrock Data Automation Projects and we are going to create a BDA project. So let's me go to the console. This is AWS console. I am in Bedrock and under Bedrock, let's go down to Data Automation. And under data automation, we will go to projects. And over here, you can see this is how a BDA project works. We have standard output, custom output, and finally test and deploy. In our lab today, we are going to use standard output configuration. And now we will go ahead and create a BDA project. So let's click on create project. We are going to give it a name. So I'm going to say my BDA project, standard output, click on create project, and a project has been created. Now we need to edit this project and then select the various options for standard output across different modalities. So this is our project right here. You can see a project name is there. You can see standard output, custom output, advanced settings. There are some pre selected options already over here. So what we are going to do is we are going to click on edit and now scroll down and go ahead and see what options are selected for standard output across different modalities. So here for document modality, we have page level, element level. For text format, we have text with markdown with, I'm going to select text with HTML. If we want bounding boxes, enable that. Any generator fields, you can enable that as well. And the output format, I'm going to keep it as JSON. For image modality, I'm going to say image text recognition, content recognition, logos recognition, generative image summarization, bounding boxes is great. For video modality, I want the full audio transcripts. I'm selecting that. And then any logos and bounding boxes, video summarization, video chapter summarization is all good. And again, it's totally up to you what options you want to select. And finally, for audio modality, we are going to say audio transcript. We want audio summary, topic summary, and content moderation. So these are some of the options that we have selected across all modalities. That is audio, video, image, and document modality. And finally, I'm going to go ahead and save changes. And once our changes have been saved, we are ready to test our project using sample files of different modalities. So let me click on test. And over here, you can use one of the samples that are you know inbuilt and provided by AWS. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my own sample file. 
So for document modality, I'm going to upload something from my computer. And but before I do that, uh, let me show you some of the samples, right? So you have a bank statement, you have a US driver's license, you have an invoice, you have a US W-2 tax form, and these are some of the inbuilt document blueprints that are available. What I have done is I have downloaded a couple of samples. So I have this driving license for New York State. It's a sample that I've downloaded from the web. Of course, you can use your own document modality. So your own document for your document modality. So this is one of the samples that is available. So this is a, a sample driving license for New York. So we are going to use this sample for our document modality. So let me go back over here. I'm going to say upload from my computer. Choose a file. And this is New York's driving license. I'm going to say open. And then generate results. So now let us see using the standard output configuration. How well does BDA do? Can it successfully extract all the information from this New York driving license? So it says it successfully generated the results. So for document, we have page level, element level, text markdown, text with HTML, and bounding boxes, and output format is JSON. So page level, so we have New York State driver license, this person is a veteran, USA, and it is motorist driving license, that is correct. We have, the name of the person is Michael M. It's a sample. Date of birth is somewhere 1978, expires in 2021. And then uh, what else do we have over here? We have none. Okay, where is none? Maybe, oh, there over here at the bottom. Let's see, did it capture is, the issued date is 8-31-2013. The date of birth is already captured over here. And this is the address. So it's captured most of the information that we were looking for. And this text, this is text with XTML. This is the same text that we can see over here. Now let me go to the element level and see. So this is text one, text two, text three. So different elements over here and just like we had the information in a textual format it has also captured the information in an element format both as a text and html so it has successfully generated the results if you would like to download the results you can certainly certainly do that and the download will be in a json format so this is an example of how you can use a standard output configuration with a document. Now let us change this and you know also change the modality and use another document, sorry, another modality. So this time around we will say upload from my computer. But instead of a document, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an image. So this is the image of me. I'm going to open this image and then let us generate results. So this is an image, it's a JPEG, and it's a picture as you can see. So it's generating results, and let us see what it comes back with, right? So, so still processing it. And sometimes it takes a little while. Okay, so it's done. So we said image, text recognition, content moderation, any kind of logos and image summarization and bounding boxes. Okay, so let us see what has come back with. So the image shows a person standing in a snowy mountainous landscape. The person is wearing a black hat. Okay, that's nice. I'm impressed. With pom-pom. Okay, it does have a pom-pom on the top. And a purple scarf. Oh, I don't know why it's saying a purple scarf. Actually, it's a purple sweater, but okay. And it's smiling at the camera. Okay, finally it captured it. In the background, there is a large rocky mountain with snow-capped peaks. 
building or a structure that appears to be a sky lodge or an observation deck, which is absolutely correct. It's an observation deck. It's basically top of your uh, Europe or Jungfrau. It's in Switzerland. And I don't think it captured that, but the image also includes some text, including top of Euro. Okay, let us see if it has something like that. Uh, let me close this. Let me go to that image and open it. Where does it say that? So let me zoom in a little. And here it says over here. Uh, I don't know if I can use anything to, to uh, mark it. But on the left-hand side over here, uh, if I can, you know, mark it in any way or form, I can show you that it has... Uh, it has this right here. So right here is top of Europe. And if I can zoom in, you might be able to see it. Okay. So okay, zoom is gone. So that's fine. Okay. I'm going to cancel this. It has Jungfrau and top of Europe or Euro. So cancel this. Okay. I'm going to leave without changes and go back. To my interpretation, it's not Jungfrau, it's actually Jungfrau, but that's fine. I don't think it was able to capture the U, which seems to be related to the location and the attraction being depicted. And the image recognition that it did was top of Euro, which is actually fine. I think it's top of Europe, but top of Euro will also work. And again, you can download the results. So I think it kind of crosses this image really very well. So... Let's now go ahead and choose another file. And this time around, what we are going to do is I'm going to choose a video file. So this video is basically the video that I recorded for Amazon Bedrock Data Automation Overview. All right. So let me open this. It's a short video. And hopefully it can generate results. So you already have the link to the video uh, in the description. But let's see if it can process this video file. And it's a nine minute video, as you can see. And let us see what it comes back with. So hopefully you can extract all the information. Tell me what this video is about. And also mention about the topic that is being discussed in this video successfully. So we're going to give it a few minutes because it's a nine minute video it might take some time so it's working on it okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop this recording and once it is finished processing this video i will resume the recording all over again So our video file has been processed successfully and results have been generated. So let's take a look at these results. So we had requested food audio transcript, text and video, any kind of logos, video summarization, video chapter summarization, and bounding boxes as well. So this is a video summarization. And yes, it is talking about bedrock data automation, which is great. It is basically summarized what all this video talks about in general, first on the top, and then each chapter wise, it has given the sub summarization over here at the bottom. Let me scroll down a little. And full audio transcript is also mentioned over here. So this is speaker zero and hello everyone. Welcome to this overview tutorial. This is my typical style of saying, and it has basically captured the whole audio over here. Some of the text that appears in the video that has also been captured at the bottom. And what else do we have? So, and the logos is for Amazon uh, Web Services, Amazon and Project Pinball. I don't know what that Project Pinball is, but it probably found something, maybe one of the logos or the pictures over there. Okay, and finally, if you want to download the results, you can sort of click on it and download the results and it will download it as a JSON. Now, finally, let's go ahead and see if it can analyze an audio file successfully. So I'm going to choose another file and go to upload from my computer, choose a file. Essentially, this is the audio file of the same video, 
but it's in an audio format as you can see it's a different format so I'm going to open this file and then request bedrock to generate results after processing this particular file so it is working on it again it will take a few minutes for it to generate the results and then again we will see what all it comes back with using the standard output configuration so again i'm going to pause the video for a few minutes allow bedrock to process this audio file and then restart recording once the processing is over our audio file has been processed successfully and results have been generated so let me scroll down. We had requested for audio modality to extract audio transcript, content moderation, audio summary, and topic summary. So let's scroll down. This is the audio summary. This is great. Topic summary. It is talking about Amazon Bedrock data automation. And it's basically, again, going chapter by chapter over here. This is the audio transcript, the actual transcript of what I said in that video. But we have a video and an audio file of that recording. And at the bottom, what is it? Okay, that's pretty much what it is. So we got audio transcript. We got topic summary and audio summary. So audio summary, topic summary, content moderation, detected toxic content. I don't think it detected any toxic content. And there is actually no toxic content because this is actually a technical uh technical video and audio of that technical video. So I believe we have successfully processed all four modalities using Amazon Bedrock Data Automation standard output configuration. Now let me this time around download this results. And so this is the results zip. Let me open this results zip. And you will see that there is a JSON file over here. If I open this JSON file, let's see if it opens up successfully. And this is our JSON file right here. So this has all that information that we just saw some time back, but in a JSON format. So I believe we have successfully completed this particular lab. Do play with this. Okay, if you any play with this, you will understand how the service works with different modalities across a document, uh, for an image, for an audio file, or a video file. And this is it from me today. Do post your comments. And I will see you shortly in some other video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.